For those of you that have been around for a while, and you've been around long enough to at least know that the Google AdWords Keyword Tool has just been changed recently, you'll know that there were a lot of features that they got rid of. And one of the features that really probably wasn't used that much, but if you were one of my subscribers, you heard me talk about it quite a bit, was the ability to actually get the Google AdWords Keyword Tool to send you back the questions. It's through questions that we kind of understand what people are looking for. And one of the techniques I always do when I'm looking to go into a new market is just kind of get an idea of what kind of questions people are typing in. Now, if you've been around at all for very long, you know that when you know search engines first started out, people would put in one and two words. And then as time went on, people realized they could put in more information. And as the, as the index got bigger and bigger of the internet on Google, people started putting in longer phrases. And we're now to the point where people put in entire questions into the search box. And so if they want to know a piece of information, they'll just put it in the search box. What we used to be able to do is put in a question word like how or what or is or can, and then we could put in our topic. So in this case, I'll put in how and paintball, and I'll hit search, and you can see I've already done this so that you can see the results here. Um, but this is basically what it returns back to us. Now, the old keyword, uh, the old Google AdWords keyword tool would actually return the questions to us. It would return phrases that had the word how and then the phrase after it. Now, even if we restrict it to only show ideas containing my search terms, again, you'll see it won't do this. It doesn't have this functionality anymore. So let's just remove this and try putting it over here. So let's use the include include let's do how and the word paintball and hit search and see what happens and so it's thinking it'll take it just a second and again we get a list of terms about paintball but we don't have any questions in here and that was one of my favorite features I would put in lots of question words like who what how where when can is should does and you would put all these question words in and then you would get a list of all the questions and if you went through these questions you would start to see the common themes the common problems the common pains that the market was having and by simply responding to that and offering information it was a great way to write articles it was a great way to build pre-sale reports or things you gave away for your affiliates. It was a great way to do market research on a topic that you weren't very familiar with. You could really sum up what people wanted in a product very quickly. Well, unfortunately, because of the changes they made to the new Google AdWords Keyword Tool, you can no longer use this specific technique with this tool. At least there's, it's, uh, it's not readily available here. There may be some tweaks that I'm not aware of uh, because this change has come up recently. But let me show you how easy this is to do in Keyword Sniper Pro. We still have the ability to do this. What we have here is we have a prefix column and a suffix column. And I can't go into all the details here because it would take too long. But let me just go ahead and clear the suffix list here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in the word how, and then I'll go ahead and put in how to as well. And then I'm going to put in my topic, which is going to be paintball. And I will select, I have four different prefix types here to select, but I'm just going to go with expanding on this. It's going to ask me a question here. Let's see, let's stop this real quick. Let's do this here. Let's clear the results. Okay, here we go. So let's go ahead and do this search again. Here we go. And there. So what it's doing is now it's going out, it's getting these questions for me. So you can see we've got how to play paintball, how to paintball, how to dress for paintball, how to be good at paintball, how to make a paintball, how to get sponsored in paintball. Now I've not even touched the tip of the iceberg. We could put in other question words. Um, we could also, one thing you can do if you've got a really large topic, you can put in something like how to A, and then we do a search on this. Let's go ahead and see what we come back with. It's going through the list here. Okay, what to wear for paintball? What paintball gun should I buy? What is ramping in paintball? What to wear in paintball? Um, what paintball gun do the pros use okay and we can actually choose there's different types of prefix uh, matching and so we can choose different types and based on the types we choose we would get back different results so we could just actually work through all four types and it would actually adjust the way this this prefix worked because of the word or the letter a being in the front so we could actually have that as the leading letter uh, in the prefix so I know this is a little bit difficult to understand if you're not familiar with how the program works uh, but you'll be able to see that in the download section but what's incredible about this is we can now get that functionality back actually it never left us if you were uh, if you were for those of you that have Keyword Sniper Pro, you know that you've been able to do this uh, since the program was released. Um, 
back in uh, January. But uh, in this case, you're able to actually use this functionality still. And everyone else that's just using the Google AdWords Keyword Tool or that's using a software program, that's the key here. A lot of software programs are simply just based on the data from the Google AdWords Keyword Tool. And if that was the case, you lost this functionality a few weeks ago when the Google AdWords Keyword Tool officially pushed everyone off that legacy platform and moved to the new platform. So this is an incredible resource. And I cannot tell you how helpful this is, especially if you're just trying to get an idea for an article. I mean, this is a great way to get an idea for an article. And what we haven't done here, what we can do is we can actually take this here and we can go ahead and just start grabbing the monthly results for these so we can find out how many times these are actually put into the search box. And even though it's going to be very low compared to um, like a, a just a single keyword, we can still gauge even from the even from what we do get back, we can still gauge which of these questions are most common. Another thing we can do is simply search within the browser. So let's see, we'll do um, how to dress for paintball. Let's go ahead and just search this one in the browser. And we can see the number of results. And since we're using an exact match here, we can actually just see that these are questions that people have put into the different websites. So this is another way, because as people interact online and Google indexes that content, this is another way to get an idea of how often questions are asked. And we can basically just take this information and we can kind of see the supply demand of specific topics. This is extremely helpful no matter what kind of content or what kind of market you're in. You can do this for any market. I chose paintball, but whatever market you're in or whatever websites you have you can use this information it's extremely helpful so this is a feature that if you are just using the Google AdWords keyword tool or if you're using a software program that's based on the data it's pulling is from the Google AdWords keyword tool you do not have this functionality and it's ju just this feature alone is worth the full price of Keyword Sniper Pro but to add this on top of so many other features that uh, just it's very difficult to explain them all there's a ton of features in this tool that you can use it's a tool I use all the time I use it in our office all the time because it truly returns more results than any other tool out there. And if you're doing pay-per-click, that's incredibly important if you want to get cheap clicks. If you're doing SEO, it's also important because you want to include these long tail phrases and the phrases you get back in your own searches. You want to include that in your content so that you can rank for more terms with a single piece of content. And this makes your job so much easier at getting traffic to your website.